What's up everybody? This is Nun Defense on the Grublet account on the team Grublet YouTube and I am a little behind schedule but that's okay. Just got phone calls from family and various other distractions so whatever. It's all good. Let's check our stats. Highest leaderboard position reached 21. All right we've seen that before. Let's check our current high score. See if we can catch it. Okay so as of right now we are still 21. Excellent. So, what I think I'm going to start doing in the meantime is while we're trying really hard to catch up and overtake Intergalactic, let's go visit Intergalactic. We're just going to start with Von Red Dog. Let's go look at his base. All right, good looking base. Excellent. So this is the uh, this is what the, the the base of the enemy looks like right here, Von Red Dog. Well, Von Red Dog, we're coming for you. Let your friends know. Excellent. And tomorrow we'll check in on one of the other team, one of the one of their other members, and we're just gonna I'm gonna try to keep checking in on them one at a time. So Von Red Dog, you're now on our radar. We know who you are. We're coming for you. See all these level one rent landing craft on Red Dog? Be be wary because they are they are tracking you down. They are closing in. That's right. All right, cool. But again, any if anybody of Intergalactic happens to watch this video, it's a joke, guys. Like I don't really care. It's silly. I mean, yeah, I wanted to overtake you. No, that's not true. I want the twentieth position. If that means you're in the 19th position, I'm okay with that. If that puts you in the 21st position, I'm okay with that as well. But right now, you're in the spot that we want. Therefore, you're the enemy. A friendly enemy. Cool? We're all agreed. That, you know, let's not, none of this is to, to be taken really personal. If any of your guys have a YouTube channel, let me know. I'll watch and share your videos as well. It'll be great. All right, let's go do an op review. All right, who's starting us off today? Well, it's Samir. Nice. So Samir is going to drop a few, what is that, one of three boats of uh, Zookas over there with those rockets. So that's an easy clearing. Then he just gets himself up here to start eating up some of this gunboat energy. And I was clearly prepared on the camera end to follow him one direction. And he threw me through a loop and went a different direction. But hey, he's Samir. I'm not. He, he knew the path he wanted to take. He took it and he won. Fantastic work, Samir. I'll try harder to, uh, you know, keep you keep you in frame. This is Spin 3PO, our man from England. So we have two Englanders on the team, but only one of them is a Yorkshire man like myself, so that's Spin. Well, I mean, I'm an honorary Yorkshire man. You can tell by my British accent, you know, that we're all born of the same, that Spindrift and I are born of the same Yorkshire cloth. So this is a uh, spindrift. Speaking of, what we got here? This is on the ba on the account Unboomable, which is a name referenced to uh, you know our original team many 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 years ago. So he's using those incinerators. Those are basically just big fat scorchers. What's the uh, opinion on those guys? Are y'all enjoying them? Is everyone liking what the incinerators bring to the table as opposed to the scorchers? Uh, Smoky Crab, here's a, a math challenge for you. Considering you only can take maximum eight incinerators into battle, is it mathematically better to do eight incinerators or 16 scorchers? Get back to me on that. Seaderm's cousin, you had a little oopsie goofy on that smoky run there, and uh, as a result, you just had to throw some critters. It happens, we're forgiving you. Oh, I've got a sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh my geez, that came out of nowhere. All right, maybe I'll edit that out, or maybe now y'all know that, you know, I sneeze in real life. This is Dad Dad Foot. Dad 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 Fat. So he has a mixture of the incinerators and the scorchers. You know, it's it is definitely weird to the eyeballs seeing a seeing a scorcher that's bigger than an actual scorcher. Like it's playing tricks with my mind. I've been reviewing ops for a very long time, so whenever things get different, I have to retrain my brain to look at it. This is Smoky Yoda. I don't know. Uh, what do y'all say? Let's place your bets. $5 that he's going to get the win here? 
All right, $5. Who's taking the bet? You got to take the bet now before he takes the shot. Oh, too late. All right. Well, it's a good thing you didn't take the bet. You would have owed me $5. This is Don. What's he got there? Okay. I think those are incinerators. I wish uh, Supercell could have, I don't know, painted them maybe a different color, maybe purple or not green. We have enough green, but just something, something to make them stand out in compared to their Scorcher Brothers a little bit different, but whatever. This is a solid attack from Don. He just cleared that entire right side of Humble Pie and it's re getting it ready to uh, be beaten by Dad the Hut. So he's going to get the victory. I just... At a glance at the screen there. Okay, so he's just he's gonna let that laser do its do its thing and just count on his bullet and his mech warriors to just do their thing. So everybody is just kinda doing the thing. The bombardiers are doing the thing, bullets doing the thing. That's a victory thing. Fantastic. Who's this? Spinky. Okay, that's Spin Drift for those not cool enough to be in the know on the subject. Congratulations, you're now a member of the Cool Club. So he's up there all by himself. A full two minutes of beat down. This should be enough for a win. Almost. There's the shield pop and there's the core pop. Nice. Like it when that happens. Who's next? This is another Spin Drift account. So he wants to hack these two rockets. Okay, so far so good. He managed to hack one more shock launcher. He spread out his uh, zookas, I guess, just to kind of take out some mines there. Letting the bombardiers work all those defenses at the front. The uh, snipers and the machine guns. Okay, this was solid work. This is solid work. The next player who decides to go over there and try to get that shield on the right side, they're going to have a much easier time. This is Stud. So what Stud got for us today? He's a good player. He's had he's had his share of impressive victories. He's just had his share of oopsie daisies. Let's see what he's given us today. And that's a victory. Fantastic work, Stud. Glad to have you on the team. Dracula. This is SRG. He's got Uno Dos Trace boats of Zookas going over to the right side of Maze. He ain't got that one single shield generator. So SRG, the, uh, the Romanian prince that I call him, that's in reference to the fact that he is from Romania. And, uh, I mean, he's... One of the best players I've ever seen. And I've seen some really good players. This is Brainiac, another SRG account. Okay, so he's just... He, uh, <clears throat> he, he was bombing those shield generators after he had damaged them significantly on the previous attack. Okay, so now he's going the long way around. Is this going to work out for him? Ah, uh, no. No, he got some... He got a few damage shots off but here's our guy big sal he's gonna beat this thing just because all the all the hard work's been done so this is just a what a fully boosted sal looks like when it's ready he just goes in fights his way to victory does great this is darth maul so uh, i think it was darth maul that declared protect the core on titanic i don't know who declared protect the core but once to protect the core is declared, we take it pretty seriously. So let's see how well we protect the core today. Remember, that means by the time the core pops, every mine needs to be gone. Every building needs to be gone. Nothing, absolutely nothing left. So this is Grublet. I barraged the hell out of that grappler just to get it gone. This is Gus Pistol, driven by me. Finished bombing that grappler, so it's gone now. And I'm just letting my uh, bombardiers just kind of spread out. Not too worried about it. My main function in my mind was to get rid of that grappler. I did it. So this is bronze soon. If you looked at the screen, if you peeked ahead, you might have noticed that there's only two attacks left. And this is one of them. 
So how are you going to get rid of everything in two attacks, Bronzoon? That's kind of an important question. Okay. So he's just we're just ch chasing him around, trying to pick up what he's putting down. Yeah, if he can uh if he can get rid of Oh, wow. Okay. I was hoping he would accomplish more. So, the pressure's on, Bron. Remember, you got to get every mine. You got to get every building. Like, the buildings are pretty easy to take, make sure we take care of. Oh, he got rid of that whole row of mines. What else we got? Did a little reposition. Oh, he got that mine. Okay. I think you might be on to something. Nope, no more mines. Congratulations. Excellent. Once again, we beat the operation with plenty of attacks to spare. We got some good protecting the corin in there. That's always fun. That's a great way to just demonstrate, like, you know, we can flex our muscles and goof off. So those are always fun. Nice. Well, let's go ahead and wrap this video up. I want to thank y'all so much for taking time out of your day to hang out with me. If y'all ever need anything, please reach out to me, and I hope you'll have a beautiful, beautiful day. Thank you.